you've said over and over again that immigrants shouldn't come to this country right now. This isn't the time to come. That message is not being received. Instead, the perception of you that got you elected as a moral, decent man is the reason why a lot of immigrants are coming to this country and entrusting you with unaccompanied minors. How do you resolve that tension? And how are you choosing which families can stay and which can, can go, given the fact that even though with Title 42, there are some families that are staying? And is there a timeline for when we won't be seeing these overcrowded facilities with, run by CPB when it comes to unaccompanied minors? Well, look, I guess I should be flattered. People are coming because I'm the nice guy. That's the reason why it's happening that I'm a decent man or however it's phrased, that, you know, that's why they're coming, because, no, Biden's a good guy. Truth of the matter is, nothing has changed. As many people came, 28 percent increase in children to the border in my administration, 31 percent in the last year of — in 2019, before the pandemic, in the Trump administration. It happens every single solitary year. There is a significant increase in the number of people coming to the border in the winter months of January, February, March. It happens every year. In addition to that, there is a — and nobody — and by the way, does anybody suggest that there was a 31 percent increase under Trump because he was a nice guy and he was doing good things at the border? That's not the reason they're coming. The reason they're coming is that it's the time they can travel with the least likelihood of dying on the way because of the heat in the desert, number one. Number two, they're coming because of the circumstances in country, in country. The way to deal with this problem, and I started to deal with it back when I was a United States senator, I mean, a vice president, for putting together a bipartisan plan of over $700 million to do the root causes of why people are leaving. What did Trump do? He eliminated that funding. He didn't use it. He didn't do it. And in addition to that, what he did, he dismantled all the elements that exist to deal with what had been a problem and, and has been — continued to be a problem for a long time. He, in fact, shut down the, uh, the number of beds available. He did not fund HHS to get people to get the children out of those — those Border Patrol facilities, where they should not be and not supposed to be more than a few days, a little while. But he dismantled all of that. And so what we're doing now is attempting to rebuild — rebuild the system that can accommodate the, the — what is happening today. And I'd like to think it's because I'm a nice guy, but it's not. It's because of what's happened every year. Let me say one other thing on this. 